Whoa! I never tell you to make that. Look at that, look at that. Oh shit, shit, shit. Not too much. Oops. This is not going well. <laughs> Whoops. You go in there, is it? Right. No ants on me. Oh, hang on, there's two out there. Shit, 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 shit. This is not going. Oh, a booter. Okay. Booter time. Too big for the pooter. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I've got to uh I've got to make the tube so they won't so they can't climb it. Let's just tap them out quickly. That is a main mental, that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Except for I think there's at least one that's run off somewhere. Come on, dang it. Oh no, no, that's it, no, 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 no. Another one there. Back in, back in, back in. It's on me. I'm just going to put anti slip on the tube, is what I meant to do, to stop them being able to do what they've just done. Right, I'm nearly out now. Just tapping them out. <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm usually very careful. This is what I've been looking for. what I want to get to with the Nikos and all that sort of stuff. At least <laughs> I'm hoping they do move into that nest to make this start looking a bit more empty otherwise it's almost like they were ready for a large, <laughs> not a medium. So there's something about the probe they don't like, I think. Just saw one stinging it. Lots of them stand there having a right old shake at it. I'm still trying to catch it properly. I mean they're getting braver now climbing over it but they, they stand there I've had three majors at a time stood there doing this weird sort of vibration thing. Typically every time I try and video them they stop. They don't do it. A minute ago one got up on top of that probe and sort of stabbed at it. I'm wondering if the probe, you know, smells of other ants or something. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Wicked having all these pink stripy ants everywhere. I just want to shake it there. No, they, they. I will catch it and you'll see what happens. Oh, is he going to do it? They really don't like that probe. I don't know if it. Possibly it's got some kind of odour of other ants on it, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Right. There's another probe over the other end that goes into the nest. And it's been half an hour now. Not a single ant has gone into the new nest. <laughs> I'm not sure. They're a bit kind of rubbish about getting into the water as well, because that's up a little tube. But I've never seen ants that struggle to find the nest or struggle to find water tubes before. It's the first time they've ever not been in a test tube, as far as I know. Yeah. They're really pretty ants, though. That major. Well, they've, you know, they've finished off. I'm not going to give them any more now, but they've, they've had half of that full. And it's taken them over half an hour now. Just empty it, just drain it. Never seen that before. Well, I, I, I have actually. I've seen the uh, region, uh, region Odus, but they took about two days to take half of it for half an hour. I'm loving these rocks my daughter found on the beach. And the ants seem to like, here we are, there's a bit of a shaker going on. You gonna do it? No. I'm just not sure about this uh, probe at all. Now is a good time to start filming again because it, the queen has started wandering around. I'm wondering if they, if literally she decides where the nest is going to be. That's not her, actually. Might explain how she's back in the middle. I've seen them, they're going up to the water feeder now, so they've discovered where the water is, or one has. The queen's just sort of wandering around these rocks still. Look how swollen pink they are. <laughs> pink stripy ants. I never thought I'd get a pink stripy ant. Well, they've nearly drank all this feeder in <laughs> about 20 minutes. Oh, there goes one into the nest there, come on. I've put the cover on in case that helps. 
I don't particularly want to keep the cover on, I don't think they need it. I recently found out about ants. See a lot of shadow in there. I want to try and catch this, it's not the best example. See, this is kind of, I don't know what it is, some kind of, it's like a shaking type thing they do. It's mainly the majors. I had three of them all lined up doing it a minute ago. They seem to do it around that probe, but I just don't know what it is. Are they trying to say there's a danger sign here? Some kind of electromagnetic thing it's giving off and they don't like it, or they do like it, I don't know. Starting, starting, are you going to do it? They really go for it when they do it. I'm doing it in the back there, you can see it twitching around. No, you've caught it, haven't I? They're having a great time in here, they've <laughs> emptied that feed. <laughs> Come on, do the shaky thing. I keep missing it. I, keep see, I come in and see him doing it, and I'm like, ah, get it, get it, hold in. Oh, nearly. Oh, oops, oops. A little bit shaky going on there. Nice, stop. Not one dead worker. Very, very pleased with these. I thought they were going to be like jet black compared to them, and they weren't. Maybe the Rufa Glaucus, I mean, they still might not be Rufa, Rufa Glaucus V. It looks like there's about 20 different varieties of the same name. Sri Lanka, India, South Africa, is it Tanzania. Just all over the place, really. They're not, a, not an unusual or rare ad at all. Um, I'm surprised they're not more common <laughs> in the hobby, I suppose, considering. of the uh, pink stripy bums at the moment. I, just, I don't know what's going on, why I've not been in the nest. Ants England's going to love this. I've got ants that hate probes. <laughs> I can't come up with any other reason for it. This probe here that's sticking out in the middle, they've, it's been under extreme scrutiny. There it is, one shaking there. They, they, I haven't caught it properly doing this weird shaking dance at the probe. I had three of them lined up. I just tried to get the camera set up in time, but then all shaking at it. High vibrations at the probe. And it's been about 40 minutes now, and not a single ant has gone into the nest. <laughs> the only thing I can think that's stopping them is that probe that's sticking through there. But the probe and the wire is not big enough to block the tunnel up. It's just not big enough. It can't do it. It's like a 10 millimeter internal diameter on a Kushi tube, whatever that is, 13 mil, and that can't be more than 6 mil, I reckon. So they should be able to get through past that, no problem. But they don't want to because it's a probe. They really don't like it. <laughs> um, so there we are. So I've got nice new pink shiny ants, and they can't stand probes at all, <laughs> which will make some people happy. I anyway, thought I'd give an update, as long as the kids don't interrupt. Here's the uh, roof of Glaucus. They've moved in, they're quite happy in there now. Um, and it's clear at the moment, actually. I've just put another 0.5, is that right? So 2.5 mil, hmm, I don't know. Not very much in a syringe, anyway, into this again, because it, it had completely cleared. I don't know if that's any brood or anything. But anyway, yeah, that, that's, so they're quite happy in there. Um, they're not living in the outworld anymore. They have moved into the nest. As you can see, they're occupying the hot side of the nest more than the cold side of the nest. And the heat mat's under half of that and the heat mat's very hot, 28.9. This is a, a typical amount of activity going off in here. They love that rock at the back. Going to give them some uh, nice food but oh he's got a nice big gas there. Pink again. I haven't got any other colours at the moment, really. I will do eventually. But there just isn't actually very much brood in there at the moment, to be honest, so... I've not 
I'm taking this cover off, but there wasn't much brood in the test tube. There's, there was a lot of ants. Supposed to be 50 to 80, and I'd, I'd say, yeah, somewhere between, no way I could count them, I'd, I'd agree with that. Um, but there was probably only two cocoons and a little bunch of eggs and a few larvae. So they don't really need a huge amount of protein for the size of the you know, colony. Still pretty cool. So far my water, this weird angle thing, seems to be working. I mean, it, they suck it out of the cotton anyway. In fact, that tube is too big, really. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> just thought it'd be a good idea at the time. No, it just seems like it's a bit silly in the way. Never mind. 